Hello, and welcome to Group 5's case presentation on the web giant Yahoo. This presentation will delve into the concepts of strategic leadership and innovation management as they pertain to Yahoo as a company. Let's begin with a brief history of Yahoo. Yahoo was founded in January of 1994 by two electrical engineering grad students at Stanford University named Jerry Yang and David Philo. The website was originally called Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web. The site functioned as a directory of other websites that were organized in a hierarchy rather than a searchable index of different pages. Three months later, they renamed the website Yahoo, which became the search engine that we have come to know today. Now, throughout the 90s, Yahoo expanded and became a web portal, which is a specially designed website that brings information together from a variety of different sources and organizes them in a uniform way. And shortly thereafter, Yahoo was involved in a number of high-profile acquisitions, which caused the stock prices to skyrocket. However, as with all good things, the high stock prices came to an end in 2001. After a couple years at near rock bottom, Yahoo rejected a 2008 acquisition bid from the Microsoft Corporation, and then just four years later endured the largest layoff in company's history. A year later, in 2009, almost exactly 15 years after its inception, Jerry Yang was replaced by the CEO, or as a CEO, by Carol Bartz. Not less than two years later, Bartz was fired by the board of directors, and Tim Morse was appointed as the interim CEO while Yahoo struggled to find an executive that had the drive to fix the leaking bucket. In January of 12, uh, Scott Thompson, the former president of PayPal, became the CEO, and five months later, he was replaced by Ross Levinson. Finally, two months and five CEOs later, the former Google executive, Marissa Mayer, who also happened to be a Stanford graduate like Yang and Philo, became the answer to Yahoo's pearls. To understand the company's strategic leadership, it is first essential to understand the company's CEO, as well as the missions and visions of the company. First, Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer joined Yahoo in 2012 after an extensive career at Google where she had much success. She was responsible for Google's bike white background on its search page, as well as the custom Google logo for holidays and special events. At this time when Meyer took the role, Mayer took the role. She was one of 20 females in charge of a Fortune 500 company. Meyer's educational background was at, St at Stanford U University, where she pursued her undergraduate and graduate degree and focused her studies on artificial intelligence. Next, the company's mission. Yahoo is a guide to digital information discovery focused on informing, connecting, entertaining throughout its search, communications, and digital pro content products. The company's vision. Our vision is to deliver your world your way. We do that by using technology, insights, intuition, and to create deeply personal digital experiences that keep more than half a billion people connected to what matters to them, matters to them most. Across devices on every continent, in more than 30 languages, and we connect advertisers to the consumers who matter to them most. The ones who will build their business throughout our unique combination of science, art, and scale. Strategic leadership, what it is. Strategic leadership is the firm CEO's ability to influence key organizational outcomes through different mediums. Intra first, the intrapersonal role, and this is to set the company's direction through championing the Yahoo brand by, first, creating and implementing an, an effective vision and living the company's mission and values. Next, being able to use the informational role, which is to design the structure of the organization through communication, acting as a medium of communication through outside, for outside and inside sources, and effectively networking within your environment. Finally, the decisional role. This is to create and maintain a positive culture through implementing long-term strategies, solving com complex problems within the workplace, and overseeing essential mergers and acquisitions within the company. 
We now take it to slide four to look at the distinct, distinct, distinct strategies of leadership roles, the interpersonal role, how this applies to Yahoo. Yahoo and Meyer were effective in this role through the strong networking with Apple and Google to use their operating systems, being theirs were outdated. Meyer was a large had a large presence in Silicon Valley, Valley and more specifically with Google, thus allowing her to make these strong partnerships. Another strong partnership that she created between Yahoo was with Facebook, and that was to help build brand awareness. The company also took a number of other branding opportunities, both vertical and horizontal. The vertical products included Yahoo Sports, Yahoo News, Yahoo Finance, and Yahoo Lifestyle in the United States, Canada, Germany, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And then they also focused on their horizontal products, which included Search, Mail, and Tumblr. The implementation methods of these strategies are based upon simplifying the business and improving execution. The interpersonal role was, was, is essential for strategic leadership because Yahoo already had a, found, a strong foundation and has its greatest days lying ahead of it. These words from Meyer brings Yahoo's vision to life, which it, in turn is a first step towards getting employees and shareholders to buy into the vision. Meyer is said to have the wherewithal to, to drive what has been for some time a rudderless ship. A, cre a key trait needed to champion one of the oldest Silicon Valley brands. The informational role. Meyer's ideal of putting a mobile strategy first shows her ability to scan the external and internal environment to determine where the company's opportunities lie. From here, increasing this focus, the Yahoo Mobile's user brand in one year, according to the company's 10K, doubled. Myers leveraged a main part of the informational role when she appointed a Silicon Valley star, Mark Levchin, to the board. Levchin was also a key role in, played a key role in Silicon Valley and was a co-founder of the startup PayPal. So the ability to add him to the board gave Yahoo more key points of contact to get them the information and networking they needed. Finally, the decisional role. Yahoo, under Meyer, had 53 acquisitions to which data shows most have failed or been reacquired. However, the ideals by Meyer to simply acquire a company when there was a shortage of labor, which was noted in the case, was a key decision on her part to not let staffing issues affect the vision which was essential at the point to regain the trust of the employees. Meyer also did this by showing the employees the era of cost cutting and job loss was over through implementing practices learned at Google's, Google. These practices entailed allowing employees to trade in their Blackberries for iPhones and Androids, as well as being able to receive free meals at the Yahoo cafeteria. Another key part of the decisional role Meyer made was to change the Yahoo logo. As CEOs came and went, including four in one year prior to this, prior to her taking over, she this showed stability to all employees as well as a fresh start for the external shareholders investing in Yahoo. The fact the redesigned logo started in 2009 shows Meyer's willingness to fix other pro problems others couldn't, and more importantly, show her employees that she was willing to put her stamp on the company, which made her also emotionally attached to a part of it. The final decisional focus was making the Yahoo brand a habit for its user base. This, however, would take innovation and co collaboration to implement. Meyer went on a hiring spree to build its engineering partner department from 40 to 400 of the top graduates within the country and abroad. 
and also acquiring startups, which we had mentioned above. She also took, the, took it into her, her own hands to change the employee's work environment from, home, from working at home to being required to show up at work. This was controversial. However, studies show that there is more gets done more effectively and innovation occurs whenever people are collaborating. Finally, on the last slide for strategic leadership, we take a look at a stock price to, bas to basically solidify if Meyer's vision worked. And we see in 2012, the stock was at an all-time low. And from that point forward, it moved upwards to over $50 and is sitting at $48.15. This portion, although only a small snippet of the company's value shows what happens when strategic leadership is effectively implemented and they put the needs of the shareholders and the people first. As Brandon said, Yahoo's vision is to deliver your world your way. Marissa Mayer took the company by the reins and helped to redesign and reinvigorate the brand by delivering results and ideas in her own way. Mayer filled different roles in the company in her attempt to provide strategic leadership and influence the brand through different mediums. By filling the interpersonal, informational, and decisional roles, Mayer was able to help correct the downward path that Yahoo had been following since the turn of the century. By making the decision to work with massive and influential companies like Apple, Google, and Facebook, Yahoo made its way back into the minds of consumers and internet users everywhere. Now, we will turn our focus to the innovative piece of Mayer's puzzle. Innovation is defined as the process of translating an idea or invention into a good or service that creates value or for which customers will pay. Chris will explain how managing innovation has been one of the keys to Yahoo's success under Mayer's direction. Managing innovation at Yahoo. Stagnation at a company is never a good thing. That point is even more magnified when dealing with industries tied so closely to technology the way that Yahoo is, as technology was what drove it to be what it is today. Having played a pivotal role in how the internet has grown to the massive tool that it is now, Yahoo's original focus mainly centered on being a web portal. At the time, the company was easily enjoying a competitive advantage as being first to market in many aspects involving the World Wide Web in the 1990s. Its main source of revenue was through advertisers looking to take advantage of the large viewing audience that Yahoo commanded on their news, sports, finance, mail exchange, and search function pages. Though not always successful in their actions, which is always a risk and challenge when companies seek innovative changes, Yahoo has focused on different strategies to stay competitive in the past few decades under its various changing leadership. After seeing declining advertiser revenue due to the first dot-com crash, under the direction of new CEO Terry Sinal in 2001, Yahoo sought to stave off this decline by involving Yahoo into more services. By engaging in this proactiveness and absorbing other hopefully key premium services that advertisers would like to be seen in, Sanal looked outside the firm's resources and focused on acquisitions of hot jobs, a job hunting site, Flickr, a photo sharing service, and Music Match, an online music service. The attempt here was to diversify Yahoo's offerings and key areas therefore increasing the overall value of Yahoo as a product and evolving it to make it more relevant to more users, similar to a one-stop shopping concept. Gaining initial success in this method, Sunel hired like-minded managers and adjusted the organizational structure to better serve the new direction. One key purchase under Sunel's heading was to further strengthen their current position in regards to being the premier search engine by acquiring companies to better their existing product and become self-sufficient. 
Though having initial success in this endeavor, Yahoo eventually suffered other pitfalls that occur with change. Stakeholder buy-in and lack of faith in the diversified vision of the CEO led to internal conflict and decreased stock price. Stiffer competition from growing rivals like Google and Facebook brought about further changes in leadership. After the departure of Sanal in 2007, Yahoo went through multiple leadership changes to try and right the ship. Stability returned in 2012 with the hiring of the current CEO, Marissa Mayer, from rival Google. After already enduring cuts and restructurings during previous years, Yahoo went back to basics and returning to focusing on its original core products and services, which were news, finance, sports, and mail services. These were still seen as its competitive advantages in the industry. Having structured collaborative deals with Microsoft involving its search engine function, Yahoo was able to focus all its energy within itself. Still not seeking any revolutionary products, management focused on incremental innovations and bettering its core products. Spending resources to improve existing Yahoo, Yahoo platform by decluttering available spaces to increase attractiveness and flow for advertisers and consumers was part of this invigoration. Further internal enhancements of its core products, such as its mail, messenger, and Flickr services, were a key focus of Mayer, as she believed heavily in product innovation being an important mover in gaining and keeping users and advertisers. Since affected by previous downsizing and restructuring by her predecessors, staffing issues which, which sometimes arise when companies seek innovative practices was an initial problem. Mayer addressed this by seeking external knowledge sources and utilizing her social capital gained in working at Google to obtain product engineers there and bring them to Yahoo. So now, the external sources of innovation can mix with the remaining promising internal thinkers to bring ideas to light that are still core to Yahoo. She further sought to cultivate innovative skills within Yahoo through partnerships, collaborations, additional acquisitions of mobile-based companies as she sought to make Yahoo more relevant for mobile users. Still remaining true to Yahoo's core competencies of news, media, and updating, service, updating information services, but branching out to tap into the new market to replace the dying desktop market. Over the course of their existence in Boom, Yahoo's good intentions to stay ahead of the competition with innovative changes suffer mainly from lack of focus. Without having properly defined their scope of innovation and staying within that envelope of what the firm wanted to be and focus their improvements on, the various scattered approaches across different CEOs left an unfocused firm in confusion and appearance to outsiders. In conclusion, the successes of Yahoo as of late can be very much attributed to the strategic leadership and innovation management of the current CEO, Marissa Mayer. In the early stages, Yahoo was known for its core product offerings, mainly their news, sports, finance, mail, and search engine functionality. The company quickly attempted to expand their reach and brand by creating additional services that would allow them to diversify their offerings. This, in turn, would make Yahoo more relevant to the end user and would make them more appealing to advertisers who could use a variety of platforms and applications that Yahoo had to offer. However, the fallout that followed this direction for Yahoo lasted for over a decade. It wasn't actually until Mayer took over as CEO and reminded the company that their success was on the basis of their basic core competencies. Success in the long term would come from the innovation and reinvention of their core products by way of collaboration between Google and Yahoo engineers, as well as in their acquisition of mobile app technologies. On behalf of myself, Brandon, and Chris, I would like to say thank you for listening to our final case presentation of the semester. Thank you.